pros and cons of living in Las Vegas, Nevada. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we're gonna to be talking about the pros and cons of living in Las Vegas. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And if you are thinking about relocating here to the Las Vegas Valley, you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112. So let's get started. Las Vegas, Nevada, often referred to as Sin City, is known worldwide for its vibrant nightlife, entertainment, and of course, casinos. However, beyond the glittering lights of the Las Vegas Strip lies a city that offers both advantages and disadvantages for its residents. In this video, we'll explore the pros and cons of living in Las Vegas, especially if you're considering calling this unique city your home. Yes, and a few years ago, maybe four years ago, I did a pros and cons video, but things are ever changing. So we thought we would do an updated pros and cons video. Now we did five of each, mm -hmm. just the top five pros and the top five cons to keep this video pretty, you know, engaging and short, right? right exactly. So the first pro of living in Las Vegas is tax breaks and incentives. Mm, a good one. Yeah, the Nevada government offers a variety of tax breaks and incentives to businesses and individuals who move to Las Vegas. This can make it a more affordable place to live and work. And that's another reason why a lot of big companies like Amazon are here in the Valley. Number two, multiple outdoor activities. Despite being in the desert, Las Vegas has a variety of outdoor activities, including hiking, biking, camping, fishing. There's a lot of ecosystems around here that you can just go out and enjoy nature. And number three is diverse culture. Las Vegas is a melting pot of different cultures. And that's one of the reasons why I like living here is not only is it diverse in culture, it's diverse in politics, right? Yeah, that, you know, yes. We're that's really a not a left or right. We are more purple, you know. We're, oh, good way to look at it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, um, a lot of people get concerned when there's a Republican um, governor or a Democrat governor, but we're not extreme on either ends. I think we're more centrist. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes it, that does make it nice. And I like having a very diverse culture here because we have that international airport. Tons of people like to come here and make Las Vegas their home. So you have all different types of nationalities. And we also have a great LBGTQ community here in Las Vegas. Exactly. I also call this uh, Las Vegas like a star port because everybody around the world likes to come to Las Vegas as well at some point. Yes. Number four, master planned communities. Las Vegas master plan communities offer many different amenities such as swimming pools, parks, playgrounds, and fitness centers. So this can be a great way to stay active and have fun without actually leaving your community. And number five is dog friendly. Las Vegas is very dog friendly. Pretty much almost all the parks are very dog friendly. They even have a ton of dog parks specifically just for your dogs where you have a small dog, a large dog, medium dog park for them. And mm -hmm. um, all the walking trails have dog poopy stations where you can <laughs> pick up their poop. So it's very dog friendly in Las Vegas. I think that's a great thing, especially if you're an animal lover. Mm -hmm. And it's also too, it's a good way to really socialize the animals and if yourself too, if you, you know, you're bored. It's a good way to meet people as well because dog lovers are, you know. Yeah, people who love their dogs love their mm -hmm. dogs. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not every city is perfect, so there's gonna be some cons. So now we're gonna go over the cons of living in Las Vegas. And the number one con is gambling culture. And of course, you know, you do live in Sin City and this is Las Vegas, so there's a lot of gambling. So if you are the gambling type, then I suggest that you don't move here, right? <laughs> right. But if you are the gambling type, there's a lot of people that have lost their lives through gambling and that is the worst con for living here in Las Vegas. Mm, agreed. Number two on the list is drought. 
Now, Las Vegas is located in the desert and the city does face serious droughts. Now, there are things in place to help, you know, mitigate that as much as possible, but this could be a very uh, impactful uh, reason for people not wanting to come to Las Vegas is because of the water situation. And number four is traffic congestion. Believe me, especially during high traffic at times, it gets pretty tight, especially when you're heading on the 15 to the strip, it's very bad. Um, of course, we're not like anywhere near like major cities like California, but through the spaghetti bowl and a lot of the major freeway intersections will have some major traffic during the high traffic out days or hours, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like 8 a.m. on the 95 yeah. going to the city. Yeah, for we example. were going to North Las Vegas yesterday mm -hmm. and the 95 was bumper to bumper. Even starting from 215 from North Las Vegas, it was bumper to bumper. Yeah. So expect some traffic congestion during those high traffic times. But all in all, it's you know, not it's too manageable. Bad. It's manageable, exactly. Number four on the list is the education system. And Las Vegas school system doesn't it really have that great of a reputation. In fact, it's ranked number 49 out of 50 in all the states. And this can be a big problem for families with children. Exactly. Uh, one good thing is that we do have awesome private schools and mm -hmm. charter schools here in the Valley. And if you are looking for better school systems, you want to move to master plan communities like in Summerlin or some neighborhoods in Henderson that have better school systems than anywhere else in the Valley. Exactly. And last but not least, number five is hot summers, right? <laughs> People complain that Las Vegas is so hot, but it's not as hot as Phoenix, Palm Springs, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we Death do Valley. get hot, yes, <laughs> and July is our hottest month where the average temperature sometimes can be 110, 111 degrees, and the nights are 100 degrees for, you know, it's just like a couple weeks or maybe even the month of July, mm -hmm. just really miserable. But once July passes, it starts cooling down and it's great. And so July is the hottest month. And guess what? We have no humidity. Bonus. Bonus. So you just get used to the hot summers. Buy a house with a pool. <laughs> Ultimately, the decision whether or not to move to Las Vegas is a personal decision. You definitely have to outweigh the pros and cons. Obviously, there are some cons, but I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Mm -hmm. And we just only went over the top five of each. I bet you if you gave us all day, we can think of 20 more pros for living here in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. right? And I'm sure there'll be a little more cons in there too. <laughs> <laughs> but do your research. Um, investigate all the different areas of Las Vegas and what is best for you. But I have been here a lifelong resident for over 30 plus years. He's been here for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. I don't see myself living anywhere else. Love Vegas. Yep. So if you're thinking about buying a home here in Las Vegas, you know, again, you can call me at 702-370-5112. But most importantly, to help support my channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe folks because i like to talk a lot about las vegas and all the neighborhoods here in the valley thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one